Good morning, everyone. I'm Josh Stinchcomb, the Chief Revenue Officer at Dow Jones, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Lakshman Chidambaram, also known as CTL, who is the President of the Americas uh, at Tech Mahindra, which is, of course, a multinational IT services and consulting company. CTL, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I very much look forward to our, our chats every December. They're normally a little more private than this, but uh, I, I always uh, take something really great away. So let's, let's jump into it. I know we only have you for, uh, for a few minutes here. Um, clearly, economic indicators are mixed. We see that the side, sideways movement in the stock market and, and other indicators. And I know in your role, you're interacting with customers on both the supply and demand side of enterprises. Uh, so I'd love to hear uh, your perspective on supply chain uh, and kind of where we are or where your customers are. Well, Josh, the supply chain situation continues to be tricky. As the pandemic moved from one part of the globe to another, we, you know, we saw the underlying lack of resilience in our supply chain. Uh, there's a large appliances customer of ours, and I met them during the pandemic. And what I heard from them was they couldn't get birth on ships, they couldn't get chips, they couldn't get cardboard boxes, and demand was robust. I met them recently. They have $400 million worth of inventory sitting, and it's not moving, right? And so, you know, from our perspective, I think we have a, you know, at this point in time, things have eased after the pandemic from a supply chain perspective. But there are some very deep risks embedded within the supply chain that we need to be cognizant about and act on. I'll give you a few examples. 94% of commercial shipbuilding is from three countries in Asia. So if anything happens from a geopolitical risk perspective, it can again throw international trade and supply chain into a crisis. Let's take Taiwan. Taiwan is the largest manufacturer of chips in the world. And uh, you require a lot of clean water to manufacture chips. And uh, Taiwan is facing a drought that it's not seen in half a century. So that can affect production again. The Russia-Ukraine war, right? Important supply of raw materials is getting stuck. Phosphates, which is used in, uh, for making fertilizers. Neon gas that's used for chip manufacturing. All this, and so these are very deep risks embedded in the supply chain. And again, a number of org organizations are dependent on a couple of countries in Asia from a supply perspective. So, you know, to everyone in this room, in our opinion, there are two things that needs to get done. One is you have to diversify your supply chain, and the second is you have to keep sustainability at the center of it when you do it. So it's, it's supply chain went from sort of the background to front page news during the pandemic, but it sounds like we're just one black swan event away from sort of a, another crisis in supply chain management. So what specifically are you doing for your customers to help them mitigate what sounds like continued risk? You know, I couldn't believe it when I read it. Germany was, 56% of Germany's energy came from Russia, right? So they're drinking this Kool-Aid, thinking that everything is good and supply and this fairy tale will continue forever, right? And uh, it did not, and we're seeing the consequences not just in Germany, all of Europe and UK. We work with a very large discrete manufacturing company. And uh, we got into details and I was, it was kind of a wow moment for me. Their largest market is the US. Single largest market is the US. 85% of their sourcing was from two countries in Asia. Right, and so they woke up to the fact that, you know, we are very much in that same area now. American corporations, largely, I'm not saying all, largely very dependent on one or two places in Asia. And uh, this customer of ours embarked on what I call a supplier resiliency program. They woke up to it, they acted with alacrity. And uh, so in this, what we did was, we went in, studied what was already happening, did shoot costing to make it better, and then diversified the supply base, took it to Vietnam, Malaysia, India, and Mexico. And uh, in this, of all the components we studied, we realized that 65% of the components could be moved, and we moved 65% of the components. And this all came cost neutral. 
right? And when I say cost neutral, it does not include the tariff related you know, issues that we have here in the US. It does not include government subsidies. So it actually worked out uh, to the benefit. So I think the time has come for American corporations, and I think this is a CEO subject, to look at this, this, the current transformation that we are impacting is going to take four to five years. It's not easy to shift these supply chains, but the time is now. Yeah. All right, well, CTL, that, we're gonna to have to leave it there. Thank you for your time, and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the program. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.